Good. Ken, can I top you off? You know what? I would love it. Please top me off, sir. Oh. Thank you for having me in your lovely home. I love orange soda. Uh, who loves orange soda? Ian loves orange soda. That's true. He does he, does he, does. How are you doing, Comic Impact? I'm Ian. This is my... I'm Ken. Friend. We're Ken. friends. We're, We're on a podcast. You can listen to us at ComicImpact.com. Yes. You probably and have if you're cool. Yeah. All the cool kids. Unless you're a nerd. What we're doing here, we're bringing you a new feature at the site. It's called Comics on Film. We're going to tell you the latest rumors, n news. Just anything that has to do with comic books and movies. On film. TV yeah. shows. Movies. Actually, do they still use film? Have they gone to video like George Lucas did? Ask George Lucas. I don't want to talk to him. I want to talk to John Favreau. John Favreau, do you use video or film? Yeah, what's know. going on, man? Yeah. Where are you, John Favreau? The fuck are you doing? Anyway, this is our first one. We're hoping to make it a weekly thing, but uh, we're really fucking lazy. So if you get a new one, you get a new one. Um, yeah. Take what you can get. Uh, don't put any money down on yeah. it. This this is free. You should enjoy what you get. We sleep a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so without any further ado, I think we should toast this new feature and get started. To uh, clinky, clinky, to uh, clinky out. to new, oh, to new clinky future, fancy. New future features. endeavors on the site. Hooray! Anyone at home want to join along? All right, getting right into things. Very ladylike. Yes, thank you. Jeff Johns came out this week. Said that he, he came out. Not that way. Oh, uh, came out and said. Fuck! That I'm getting sued now, aren't I? Probably. Fuck! A new uh, Vertigo. Adaptation is in the works. Uh, Vertigo Comics adaptation. He didn't come out and say what it was. He said that quote, it's one of the best Vertigo has to offer. He didn't say what title it is. He didn't even say if it's TV or movie. Um, some of the rumors are Sandman or Why the Last Man. By I was Jay hearing Hall. a lot of rumors about a Sandman TV series. I would personally prefer Why. Uh, for anyone who's read it, you know exactly how mind-blowing it is. It's... A lot of people like Sandman. I haven't read it, have you? Sandman or...? Yeah. Sandman. I know you read Why. I have not read Sandman. Me neither. Good on ya. I'll bet Simon's read it. Moving on! Moving on! I'm still kind of sick. I can't Wait, sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's better. Fuck you. Uh, first pitch, pictures were released this week. Of Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy. As Gwen Stacy, there's the new. She's a blonde now. Apparently, she always was. Apparently, I don't buy it. Apparently, it's coloring the redness. Yeah, whatever. But, but uh, she's blonde now. She's playing Gwen Stacy in the new Spider-Man reboot scheduled for 2012. God, that's a long way away. Too long. Uh, but I already like this one better than the other ones. Uh. Go to hell, Sam. You know, you know who's playing George Stacy, right? Dennis fucking Leary. Fuck yeah. High five. High five. So they yeah. do a lot of high fives on this, by the way. I've decreed. So yeah, uh, first picks are online of Gwen Stacy. This is actually the first time we're seeing any actual production uh, uh, shots, period, from this movie. And yeah. she, I think she looks good. She looks like Gwen Stacy. Yeah, why not? I buy it. Yeah. I'm good with it. I'm good with her and Dennis Leary being her dad. You want to know something? What? I would hit that. Really? John Favreau came out this week. Not that kind of came out. Fuck you! Uh, he was saying that he's hopeful to have the Mandarin as the villain in Iron Man 3. That would be cool. Uh, his reasoning is kind of that uh, Avengers and Thor's bringing a lot more of the, uh, the magic kind of fantasy element. So, of the Marvel Universe into play. So now it's safe. You can be all weird and crazy. Well, we'll see how well Thorin of the Avengers do. Thor's going to do awesome. Let's hope. Let's hope. Don't, I don't need your naysaying. I, look, I want it to do good. I'm just saying nothing. And it will. Good. Okay. It will. It, it, I will make it. I will see it a billion times if I have to. Here's the thing for me. Not necessarily like the, the magic-y stuff. Uh, being the problem, I'm, the, the problem for me is a villain, an Asian villain, named the Mandarin. Might be a tough sell. 
I don't know. Speaking of uh, Iron we Man... We don't need to tiptoe around. Okay? You know what? The Mandarin's been around forever. I say it's time to bring him out. I, I, hey, I'm with you. I yeah. want to see it. but They people, can do it. People are sensitive. Stop it. Speaking of John Favreau Iron Man movies... Yes? Do you want to... I do! It has been confirmed that Gwyneth Paltrow will not be in the Avengers. Shh. Fuck yeah! High five! Fuck yeah! Yeah. Do it again! That's how fucking awesome that is! No Gwyneth Paltrow! Yeah, not for the Avengers. Yeah. Uh, more than likely for Iron Man 3. Oh yeah, she'll be in Iron Man 3 and she'll probably be rescued. That is my prediction. Uh, He's gonna be pissed. I think it's gonna happen. That's that. Is, uh, Indeed. Hey Ken. Hi. Do you know that Kevin Feige... Is it Feige or Feige? 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 I don't know. Feige? Sorry, buddy, if we screwed up your name. Kevin Feige. Let's call him Feige. Marvel Studios president. Uh, he sat down and spoke with LA Times this week. No about uh, About all kinds of comic books. Nobody Marvel, cares about newspapers. Marvel movie news. Marvel movies. Uh, some of the things... Shocking. He... They make a lot of movies. You're talking a lot. Shit ton of movies. Yeah. Um... Some of the things he pointed out, there is going to be a new armor for Iron Man in the Avengers. Do you think it'll be the armor in the comics where it like comes out of his spine? Ooh, Please, Kevin, buddy, I'm sorry we fucked up your name. Don't <laughs> do that. Please don't do that. I don't think like um, he has complete control over that. Do me a favor. Just do, do me a solid. Tell Joss Whedon no. Yeah. Uh, Sheldon. I want to see Hulkbuster armor. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Yes, well... Hulkbuster. Apparently they're going to be fighting the Hulk. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sheldon, I hope you're listening to this one. The Cap trailer will be coming in the new year. That's what uh, Kevin said. What this means to me... Jim, the movie comes in the new year. We should get a trailer now. Well, the movie comes in the summer. When they say the new year, to me that means January. So, very soon, we should be seeing a trailer for Captain America. What comes out in January? Oh, maybe uh, Green Hornet. Maybe when Green Hornet comes out? You know what? We should work for marketing for them. What else did you talk about, Ken? Oh, uh, well, he talked about a bunch of things, you know? A lot of random things, like, yeah, we're still doing Ant-Man, we're going to do Black Panther, we're going to do this and this and this and this. But, coolest thing I read... Marvel has the rights for the Punisher again! Yay, they got it back! Yes! Which means Lionsgate can't fuck it up again! But it's I, not going to be rated R. No, won't be rated R, but after, that's okay. And after I the think, second one tanked, Marvel oh, came out and said, no more rated R Marvel movies. It wasn't that the movie bombed because it was rated R, it bombed because it sucked. It was retarded. Either way, it's hard to get kids into a theater for a radar movie. You know what? I saw five-year-olds when I saw Rambo 4. I saw a four-year-old girl cry by the end of that movie. I would, too. It was hilarious. Stallone's not very pretty. He's a good guy. Okay. Also, he mentioned that an Iron Fist script is in the works and is going to be based on the Matt Fraction and Brubaker run of the series. Which was awesome. I have the trades of that. Let me borrow them. Okay. I want to read oh, I was supposed to bring you that Superman book. I yeah, forgot. I figured. Maybe tomorrow. It's okay. I'm a busy guy. I know. All right. You know what I was busy with this week? What? Watching the Thor trailer. I saw that too. Yeah. What do you think? Badass. Badass. You know what? We need like thunder sound effects when we high five. Simon's editing this. If he didn't put it in there, you, the viewer, have uh, to imagine it. You've been cheated. Just, just imagine it. Sorry. Do it again. That's how they spelled it in Thor. Okay. Cthulhu. Uh, the trailer not as good as the uh, the five minute yeah. San Diego Comic Con version. Basically, it was an edited down version of that. There was the only thing I noticed that was different were uh, a there couple was a shots. There's a little of, more of uh, the armor, right? Um, the destroyer. Yeah, the destroyer. Armor. I wouldn't say more because they were like one, two half-second flashes of him, two or three half-second flashes, whereas in the um, the Comic-Con footage, there was a probably good 20 seconds or so at the okay. very end of him. It looked better, though. 
apparently in the stuff that was released at the at Comic Con, it wasn't finished. Like they weren't completely done rendering all the effects. Either way, I'm I not think a it looks better. Not a fan of Thor. I can't wait for this movie. It's, I think it's gonna be badass. It's good gonna job, make a Kenneth. shit ton of money. Kenneth Branagh, you did it, buddy. You did yeah. a good job. And Natalie Portman. <laughs> Don't call him. Moving on. I don't want to move on. Maybe I want to talk about this some more. Trust me, not. You don't want to talk about this with me in the room. It's going to get sticky. Okay, so you were saying moving on? Finally, Finally. we want to bring you what we call Ridiculous Rumor of the Week. Uh, there's constantly, regardless of what website you go to to give you comic book movie news, uh, There's always some really bad rumors out there. Weird rumors. Remember the rumor about Eddie Murphy being the Riddler in the next Batman movie? Dude, that was from that was from Batman Forever, 1995. No, they said this like a year ago. There was a rumor floating around for that. See, don't take these things at face value. Don't even even if you hear something really freaking horribly bad. Pro, if it's the weirder it is, it probably <laughs> means it's not true. Yep. And this week I read... My girl likes to party all the time. Party all the time. Party all the time. Oh, Eddie. This week I read that uh, John Cena, the wrestler... Yeah. Ooh. Uh, rumored, Whatever it is, it can't be good. Rumored to be Batman. Really? And, uh, Christian Bale has come out and said that uh, the new Batman movie, the third one in the Christopher Nolan series, is more than likely going to be his last one. What has he got to do? Terminator Salvation no, 2. No, no, He's Christian Bale. He doesn't want to make a living out of the... Uh, but anyway... And it's his best he's... shot. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky and he will... Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll do Batman Superman movie with Christian Bale and Brandon Routh. You know what? As much as that movie sucked, he wasn't a bad Superman. Ralph is shit. He's an awesome Superman. That movie um, was a piece of shit. Well, speaking of Superman, John Cena has also been rumored to be the new Superman because Zack Snyder is rebooting the Superman yeah, series. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that is also a horrible idea. Well, unless he did happen. both. At the same time? At the same time, like... He, Literally, it's like the half thing where one half is Superman, the other half is Batman, and he just keeps turning around. I would watch that for four hours. I'm not quite there with you yet, but... Um, Give it time. Yeah. Just There's your ridiculous... Let it mull around week. in your head for a little while. John Cena as... Superman and Batman. The same time. Batman. Super, Batman and or Superman. And Slash Ah. I don't think it's going to happen. Don't worry. It won't. So I think that's all we've got for this week, Ken. Is that it? It goes by so fun. fast. It really and truly does. Stay tuned to the website. We've got more stuff coming all the time. we got a new feature coming out this Friday called The Casting Couch, which also Ooh. has to do with uh, comic book movies. Really? Oh, does it? Ooh. Yeah. Not the casting couch you were hoping. Not that uh, dirty. It's like... Uh, Play on words. Okay, I... Because you know, the casting couch is like, you know, the couch that the young ladies, you know, you want to be in my movie, come sit on my casting oh. couch. Oh, And then Ew. they take advantage of the young ladies. That's horrible. Well... Who would do such a thing? Douchebags working in the movie industry. Shocked and slash or appalled. This make you feel better. Thank you. I think that's all we got, Comic Impact. See you next time. Thanks, guys. That was pretty cool.